Life as We Know It with Tom Walton. If I were making a commercial to promote our weekly get-togethers here on WGTE, I might say something like this. Life as We Know It with Tom Walton, coming to you every Monday afternoon during the four minutes when the folks at All Things Considered need a potty break. Join me for off-the-wall discussions of stuff you will not hear anywhere else. That's Monday at 5.44 p.m. I'll be waiting for you. Well, in keeping with the notion of full disclosure, especially with regard to TV commercials by pharmaceutical companies, I would not be allowed to stop there. I'd have to include the obligatory disclaimer at the end that acknowledged the possible side effects of tuning in. I'd have to add a warning like this. Keep in mind that if you listen to life as we know it, serious reactions could occur. Short attention span, loss of self-respect, heartburn, low self-esteem, the derisive hoots of your family and friends. If you experience any of these symptoms, call your doctor right away and ask if Walton is right for you. Yes, if the same rules apply to me that apply to the drug companies, that's how I'd have to conclude our visits every week. Nowhere is this good stuff, bad stuff conundrum more obvious than during the National TV Network's evening news. The commercials are for drugs that have been fully vetted by the Food and Drug Administration and really do marvelous things for our health, and after all, what matters more than a healthy life? It's when the commercials wind down that I become concerned. The possible side effects are scary. After the drug maker tells you what its newest wonder drug will do to make you feel all better, they recite a litany of potential problems associated with taking the medicine. The result? I pay a lot more attention than I used to. I never used to read the pamphlet that came with my prescription medicines. I assumed the stuff must be good for me, or the doctor would not have prescribed it. But nowadays, the warnings are unavoidable and frightening. I have a friend who was bothered by hip pain. Her doctor prescribed a medication that no doubt would have helped her, but then she read the warnings that came with the pills. The medicine, she was advised, increased her risk of a heart attack or stroke that could lead to death. Her other medicines said she risked vomiting, dizziness, heartburn, nausea, stomach pain, elevated blood pressure, anemia, weight gain, flu, and both constipation and diarrhea. One assumes the risk of a serious reaction is low, but that's a lot to stress about. It's always a shock to hear a drug warning that, quote, side effects could include death, end quote. Death is not a side effect. Death is pretty much the effect. The warnings also say that the list of side effects may not be complete, that other possible side effects could be out there. Like what, I have to ask? They already got my attention with death. What else do I need to worry about? Are limbs going to start falling off? Some of these drugs say their side effects include anxiety and irritability. You know what? I'm getting anxious and irritable just thinking about it. Life as We Know It is written and hosted by Tom Walton and is a production of WGTE Public Media. Life as We Know It with Tom Walton can be heard on WGTE FM 91 every Monday afternoon during All Things Considered at 5.44 p.m. Or hear past episodes at wgte.org life.